Biles Life Skills A1 Spell Squeeze Out Head. Number one topic that I believe that the examiner will definitely ask you about in the interview phase. First, we're talking about interview, interview section. That is called phase 1A. Phase 1A. Phase 1A. Number one important topic, birthday. The examiner will definitely ask you, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? question in phase 1a activities now the examiner can ask you about your activities on weekends activities in the morning activities in the evening activities in the afternoon activities on your birthday so it is easy to tell about activities i like to do this i like to do that understanding if the examiner will ask you a question about activities he can ask you about uh, your morning evening and weekend activities. One question only, not more than one, okay? Just one question only that what do you do in the morning or what do you do in the evening or what do you do on weekend, right? After that, the third one, these days, in the end of 2022 and in the beginning of the year, How's the life of people in your country? What was the question? How's the life of people? How's the life of people, uh, people in your country? In your country. Now, this is an important one. People feel very confused how to answer this question. So how will you answer this question? How's the life of people in your country? You can say it's very busy. What will you say? It's very busy. Most of the people, no, I think, let's make it easier. Some people work, some people go to schools, some people go to colleges, uh, people like to go to restaurants, people like to go to parks, and life in my country is very busy. Okay, so to make it easier for you, some people work, some people study, some people study, People like to, people, people like to enjoy different festivals, different, um, different festivals. And people like to go to restaurants. People like to travel. So people uh, use the word people, right? People like to go to restaurants. People like to go to wedding parties. Wedding parties. Life is busy and fun in my country. Life is busy. You may also use the word interesting. Interesting in my country. Okay? I think you can say anything like... If Shaheen wants to answer, and I ask Shaheen, Shaheen, how is the life of people in your country, Shaheen? Shaheen, are you there? Or she's not? Yes, ma'am, I'm there. Uh, stay closer to your mic and tell me, how is the life of people in your country? Mm -hmm. Yes, Shaheen, how is the life of people in your country? Busy life. Mm -hmm. More. Speak more. It's very busy life. Some people like to go to restaurants, some people go to work, some people travel, some people stay at home, some people like to go to birthday parties, wedding parties, anything. People like to enjoy festivals. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Fatima. Could you please tell me, beautiful, how's the life of people in your country? Yes, people, life of the people in my country is very busy and mm. interesting. Mm. People 
there's so many jobs in my country. People mm. go to people go to shopping, people driving car, so much, and uh, it's very very difficult life. <laughs> good, good answer. What about you, Kainat? How's the life of people in your country? It's very busy life. Some people work, some people are uh, doing studies, some uh, like to enjoy uh, their uh, favorite festivals, and some people like to go to eat their uh, favorite foods. And mm. uh, some people like to go uh, wedding parties, some people like to go uh, bachelor parties. Okay. And uh, mm. um, their people uh, have a very busy and interesting life. Good job. Okay, so it is people, not peoples, okay? People, just P E O P L E. Shaheen, can you answer now? How's the life of people in your country? Shaheen, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, how's the life of people in your country? Very busy life. More. I can't hear you. Come closer to your mic. Some people shopping. Some. Yeah, some people like some people like shopping. Some people go to shopping malls. Some people go to parks. Some people work. Some people study. It is very easy. Some people fly. Some people work. Some people study. Shaheen, four words only. Some. But us people. people three words rather you can write write some people work some people study some people travel some people go to restaurants Shaheen can you understand it's not difficult only three words some people no understanding Uh, I can't hear you. Shaheen, please fix your mic because I cannot hear you. Okay, anyways, let's move to the next one. Shaheen, you need to fix your mic or you may uh, drop yourself from the call and join again because I cannot hear you. Anyways, the next question, very common these days. What kind of, what kinds of jobs do people do in your country? What kinds of jobs? What kinds of jobs uh, do people do in your country? Okay, yes. Um, like you can say, uh, some people, some people, some people do office jobs. Some people do office jobs. Some people are teachers, right? Some people are teachers some people are engineers tell me more, more some please. people are some people are laborers yeah labor some people are more okay then some people are chefs some people are um good job watchmen good some people are uh, police and beautician, hairstylist. Uh, some people are uh, army men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More? Shaheen, you too, contribute. Hairstylist, Shaheen, can you add more names, please? Yes, ma'am. Nail arts. Take over. Some people. Back some people. Uh, Shaheen, no voice. I cannot hear you.
Yeah, I mean, I hear you. See, there are many other professions like doctors, teachers, engineers, nurses, uh, chefs, watchmen, firemen, uh, online jobs. You know, you can mention that Fire. too. Yeah, good job. Very smart. Okay, so Fatima, can you tell me um, what kind? Okay, she's saying call me again. Please excuse me. Let's make a new call. Everyone, end this call. We will make a new call. So teacher, nurse, uh, pharmacist. Good, that is enough. That's enough. That's good. Okay, good answer. So you understand, right? What kinds of jobs means online jobs, office jobs. Uh, some people are engineers, doctors, um, people working in the pharmacies, anything. I mean, like there's so many jobs around you. You can mention anything. Some people are artists, painters. Um, um, I don't know. There's so many other jobs. Understand it or not? You can mention any five to six, any five to six jobs you can mention. Farmers, some people are farmers, dancers, singers. But if you don't have a lot of singers and dancers, then go with doctors, engineers, labor, laborers, and um, what else? Uh, teachers, teachers, very common, right? Everywhere. Uh, engineers, and then we have software engineers, and we businessmen, right? Some people are businessmen, some people are farmers. So just like this, okay? Uh, all right, now let's listen from Kaina. Kaina, what kind of jobs do people do in your country? Um, in my country, some people are teachers, some people are engineers, some people are laborer, uh, labor, uh, some people are uh, chefs, some people are beauticians, some people are uh, doing their own business, and uh, some people are drivers, and uh, <clears throat> some people are watching. Okay, your voice is breaking a little, but it's laborer with the R, R. Okay, it's laborer, not like labor, because labor is a verb. Okay. okay. Shaheen, what kind of jobs do people do in your country? Uh, some people plumber, some people painter, some people uh, labor, some people car painter, some people car washing, some people doctor some people uh, mm. doctor some people uh, technical engineer some people mechanical engineer some people singer some people tv stars yeah yes ma'am very good uh, some people director some mm -hmm. people artist some people director some mm. people actors Actually, some people, uh, some people, artists, some people, hair style, uh, styling, uh, styling, Eric some Abbott, people, musicians, uh, uh, some people, home teacher, tutor, tutor. some people, uh, some people, worker, some people, uh, businessman. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's easy, right? So uh, besides that, another common topic that I have noticed. The examiner asks you, do you know people living on your street? I think that this this, this topic is common for A1, uh, phase 1A, that is street. So the examiner will ask you that, do you know people living on your street? Do you know? Do you know uh, people living on your street? Uh, so you can say, yes, I know people living on my street. And I know my neighbors, and they are very nice, right? I I take tea, I take tea with them. I take I spend time with them. Understand it or not? I know people living on my street. I know I know many people living on my street. If you know a lot of people, so I know many people uh, living on my street. Uh, street. They are good neighbors good neighbors i have good relations with my neighbors right i have good relations relations with my neighbors relations with my neighbors 
And you can see many more things. I like to take tea with my neighbors. I like to play with my neighbors. I like to go shopping with them. Anything. That is just an extended answer to exaggerate, to talk more. But in general, uh, I know people living on my street or I don't know people living on my street. I don't have any neighbors and I don't know anyone. That's a different thing. If you know people, you live in a community, then you can say that, yeah, I know many people living on my street. So let's answer this question one by one. Fatima, um, do you know people living on your street? Yes, I know some people living in my streets. It's very friendly and I have good connection with them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I give them some food, I share with food with them, with them and give them some clothes and when to eat food in the restaurants with them. It's very friendly and take care about them. That's very good. Thank you so much. Kainat, would you tell me, uh, do you know people living on your street? Uh, yes, I know many people living on my street. They are very good neighbors. And they, uh, I have a very good relation with my neighbors. Uh, sometimes we share uh, some food with others. And uh, sometimes we uh, celebrate any uh, parties or any festival together. Okay, that's good. That is brilliant. Not bad at all. Okay, another topic that the examiner might ask you about is, uh, okay, Shaheen, would you tell me uh, about the same question? That is, do you know people living on your street? Hello? Yeah, yeah Shaheen, please tell. Do you know people living on your street? Yes. Please give a complete answer. Do you know people living on your street? You can say yes, I know people living on my street. I know my neighbors are very nice. Please answer no. once. Neighbor in my streets. Hello? Uh, yes, I cannot hear you proper. Could you tell me again? Do you know people living on your street? Yes, I know living. Yes, I know people living on my street. Yes, I know people living on my street. Okay. Yes, I. Yes, I know people living on my street. Do you know people living on your street? Yes, I know people living on my street. I know my neighbors. They are very nice, friendly, and kind. Everything is being recorded, Shaheen. You can watch it later too if you don't understand. Okay? This lecture is being recorded. If you will miss anything, re-watch it. Write all the answers on your notebook. Or if you don't want to write it, I want to give you this tip. See, girls, if you want to pass, I know it is difficult to memorize all the questions by reading and writing, but at least you can listen to my recordings. Recordings on YouTube are going to help you. It's just like music, because if you will play it in the background in the morning for one to two hours, at night for one to two hours, that would be revision of your questions. Shaheen, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Right? It's no yes, hard work. It is just playing a recording. So when you're feeding your child, when you're cooking food in the kitchen, play the recording. Play Sk Skype recordings too. Okay, in your free yes. time, you have free time, play the recordings, listen to yourself, okay. listen to the uh, to other candidates too. This will help you. Okay, yes, ma'am. It's, it's, it's for everyone. Whenever you have free time, if you're cooking food, if you're in your room alone, not doing anything, just play your recordings, replay your recordings or listen to the topics, okay. important topics. Thank you. Anyways, let's move okay. to the next topic that I think that the examiner might ask you about could be about which is your favorite weather. So let's ask Fatima first. Fatima, which is your favorite weather? My favorite weather is sunny, sunny weather. Give me one reason too with it. When you speak, give me one to two lines. Yes, which is your favorite weather? My favorite weather is sunny weather. 
beautiful reason too. I like it. I like to uh, go out in the sunny weather. I like to eat ice cream in the sunny weather. I also like to uh, go to the park in sunny weather, just like that. Uh, my favorite weather is sunny weather because the weather is good for going out. I like to go out with my friends to park and eat, eat, eat ice cream and go into swimming in level pool, swimming pool with my friends and going to beach with my family is very nice weather for me. Thank you so much. Kaina, could you tell me about your favorite weather? Kaina, you have to unmute your mic to talk about your favorite weather. <clears throat> I like wet weather. Because uh, in wet weather, we made different dishes. Uh, I like to drink coffee in wet weather. I like to go uh, with my friends out to uh, drink tea uh, in wet weather. So we, um, we are doing uh, in wet weather some um, uh, tea parties and uh, some Thank you. I lost your voice though. Shaheen, which is your favorite weather? My favorite weather is cold weather. I like to uh, snowfalling because I make snacks with coffee. Perfect answer. You can also talk about I like to eat dry fruits in cold weather. I like to eat fried fish or fish in the cold weather. And I like to wear heavy clothes in uh, in cold weather, right? Yes. Very good answer. Very good answer. Okay. So now I'm going to start a mock test. First, I'm going to do phase 1A with each person. Okay. Phase 1A. I will tell you pass or fail. I will ask you eight questions from like each candidate. I will ask eight questions. I want Fatima to be candidate A, Kaina to be candidate B, and Shaheen to be candidate C. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. First, we'll begin with candidate A. This is Angelina. I'm your interlocutor for IELTS A1 Life Skills Speaking and Listening Test. Candidate A, can I have your full name, please? Yes, my full name is Fatima Abouk. What can I call you? You can call me Fatima. Can you spell your first name? Yes, of course. F A G I M A. Where do you come from? I come from Morocco. What do you do? I'm a student. When's your birthday? My birthday in on 24th January. Which is your favorite weather? My favorite weather is sunny weather because I feel fun. And I enjoy with my friends to go into swimming pool and I like to swim. I like also to go into a restaurant to take coffee and go into beach with my family. Because it's very nice weather. I like sun weather. What do you do on weekends? On weekends, sometimes I like to travel with my family to visit my auntie. Another, she lives in another city and spend time with her. She's very friendly and uh, take coffee with her and go into restaurants with my auntie and go into shopping and uh, listen to music and enjoy a lot with them. And, uh, cooking food because she's a very good cook. Thank you so much, candidate A, pass, okay? Pass. Now, I just remembered one more important topic before I continue with candidate B. <laughs> the examiner might ask you about your favorite place or your favorite member of the family. Very important, favorite member, favorite member of the family, and favorite place, favorite, favorite place, could be favorite place, and there is a chance that the examiner might ask you about your hometown or your neighborhood. One question only, hometown and neighborhood. Let's talk about some questions, then I will start test number two. Hometown. Uh, hometown and, sorry, hometown and other one was neighborhood. Now this neighborhood question is so confusing for people that they don't understand what is neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood is your surrounding area near your house, okay? Like parks, like shops, like schools, hospitals, area around your house. 
Maybe uh, you have uh, trees or flowers or a playground or maybe a beauty parlor or a salon as you call it. Maybe you have a gym near your house. Maybe you have a restaurant near your house. All these things are a part of your neighborhood. Understand it? So uh, are you ready, Kainat? Yes. Candidate B, are you ready? Okay. This is Angelina. I'm your interlocutor for IELTS A1 Life Skills Speaking and Listening Test. Candidate B, can I have your full name, please? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Sayyida Kainat Bukhari. And what can I call you? Kainat. Can you spell your first name? K-A-I-N-A-T. Where do you come from? I'm from Islamabad. And what do you do? I'm a housewife. What do you like about your neighborhood? I can't hear you. Can you please? I said, what do people? you what do you like about your neighborhood? I like in my neighborhood. Um, um, uh, some people. I like my neighbor uh, in my neighborhood uh, park. I like to go park. I like to go. Um, some people who live in my neighborhood. I can't hear you, beautiful. Your voice is breaking. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. What do you like about your neighborhood? I like many people uh, who live in my neighborhood. Because uh, um, there are some my teachers and there are some my friends. And I like to go uh, with my friends my park which is uh, in my neighborhood and uh, sometimes I go <clears throat> with my friend in the evening. What do you like about your hometown and where is your hometown? What do you like about your hometown and where is your hometown? I like to, <clears throat> I like hometown because uh, this is uh, a very beautiful area and uh, my hometown is in Islamabad. So uh, around my hometown is a very uh, shopping mall, school, colleges and... Uh, Okay, so Shaheen, Kainat and Fatima, listen, if the examiner will ask you about your hometown, talk about your city. Like Shaheen, your hometown is Lahore. Kainat, your hometown is Islamabad. Islamabad as a whole city is your hometown. Hometown is not like name of a town. Hometown is a place where you're born and brought up or you've been living there for a long time, right? It's usually the name of your city or your village or your town. Town doesn't mean the small area because uh, like Shaheen would understand that Johor town or township. No, that is not your hometown. That is your neighborhood, right? That is the area where you live. We are talking about hometown on a bigger level. Fatima, where is your hometown? And what do you like about your hometown? My hometown is near urban city. Mm -hmm. It's a very good area. Mm -hmm. And there is, there is a very nice park in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And there is a small shop in my hometown. Mm -hmm. and no, 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 you hometown, your hometown is a village or a town? What is it? <coughs> See, not, um, not village. It's a town, right? So you only have small shops there in your hometown? Yes, you can find small shop in hometown. But just then don't say a small shop because hometown is bigger. It's not the area near your house, but it is the overall area, right? It's quite big. But it's not big city, not like... Uh... Oh yeah, I understand your point then. Okay, cool. I understand. Okay, so Shaheen, yeah. could you... Yeah. Shaheen, could you tell me about your hometown and what do you like about your hometown? You will say Lahore is my hometown. It's a big city. 
and there are many schools here, many colleges, restaurants, historical buildings, zoo, uh, very good city or very bad city, whatever you want to say. Shaheen, where is your hometown? My hometown located in Johnson Lahore. No, oh, beautiful, that is not your hometown. Your hometown is Lahore. Full city. My hometown is Lahore, located in Punjab, Pakistan. Yeah, that is correct. It is very big, <laughs> and it's a histor it's a historical city. Or you can say that there are many uh, parks here, restaurants here, colleges, universities. You know, um, there are yes, ma'am. There are many parks in my hometown. Mm -hmm. Shopping malls. Uh, yes, ma'am. Shopping mall, boutiques. Uh, a supermarket and pharma, uh, pharmacy and uh, restaurant and uh, uh, parks and playground, cricket and uh, parking area. Yes, ma'am. And parking area. Uh, my hometown is very neat and clean. Is mm -hmm. uh, good service. My hometown. Good job. Okay, Kainat. Now, can you tell about your hometown? My hometown is the capital city of the Pakistan. It is uh, both traditional and uh, modern. Mm -hmm. it, is started, it is started to be uh, developed with increasing number of uh, established. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, uh, in my hometown, there are different kinds of transportation available. Uh, mm -hmm. There are Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, yeah. I, can't... I, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. <coughs> uh-huh. Okay. In my home in my hometown, um sport and uh, fishing uh, festivals, agriculture, uh, common in my hometown. Mm. Um, also, with the uh, latest model, modern uh, office jobs. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Shaheen, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. This is Angelina. I'm your interlocutor for ILZ One Life Skills Speaking and Listening Test. Can I have your full name, please? My full name, Shaheen Nazim Rafiq. What can I call you? You can call me Shaheen. Can you spell your name? S H A H W E N. Where do you come from? I come from Lahore. What do you do? I am housewife. What do you do in the evening? Evening. <clears throat> My evening time. I took food mm -hmm. in the evening. Yeah. I clean my house in the evening. I watch TV with my family. A funny show Kapil Sharma in the evening. I go to shopping. Practice mall in the evening. I call my husband in the evening. I. Thank you. What do you like about your hometown? My hometown is very neat and clean. I like my hometown. Many parks, many uh, market. Every facility is available in my hometown. My hometown is very beautiful. Take the name of your hometown too. You can say Lahore is my hometown. Take the name. My hometown, uh, Rahim Garden, no, beautiful. in Dalahar. No, 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 you don't mm. understand. Hometown is actually your city, the place where you're okay. born and brought up. Johar town okay. is your neighborhood. That is not your town. Understand yes, it? Hometown is your yes, city. Yes, your yes, city. Yes, yes, yes. Understand it. Okay, I can hear my own voice back anyway. Okay, so this is the end of phase 1A. Thank you so much for joining me, Kainat. Right, thank you uh, for staying. I think I will continue with you by tomorrow. 
Okay, for phase 1B, I told you that I'll try to finish up, but I think um, it did not work out. We will join tomorrow for phase 1B. Okay? Kainat, thank you so much for joining me today, right? Tomorrow around the same time, you can join me again. Is that all right? Okay. I've given you the important topics. Work on them for phase 1A. They are mentioned in the uh, chat box.